Hello, in this tutorial you will learn how to install cPanel free alternative. cPanel is a popular control panel that uses a user-friendly web-based interface to help you administer your web hosting server. You can host cPanel on free VPS, but when you're trying to use it, you have to pay a monthly fee. Here in this video, I will show you the best cPanel alternative and a Pensers web-based control panel Webman and Virtualman Co. installation. Webman is a web front-end that lets you administer your server from anywhere using your browser. Virtualman is a Webman plugin that, like cPanel, simplifies the management of several virtual hosts through a single interface. Virtualman is a web server administration tool that is both powerful and flexible. It comes with domain accounts, email, user and reseller accounts, security, alerts, graphs, and logs, backups and cloud integration, databases, and install scripts. You can use any type of fresh virtual private server to install this. Virtualman supports both CentOS and Ubuntu distribution of Linux. I use Google Cloud Platform Free Tier as my VPS provider and CentOS 8 as operation system. Let's go to the actual process of installation. Step 1. Set up the VM instance on Google Cloud Console. First, you have to sign up Google Cloud Platform and activate their free trial and free tier. It gives one virtual machine free forever. You can use it for this tutorial. Also, you can use other VPS providers, because GCP offers an F1 micro machine for the free tier. It has very low resources to run speed and smooth hosting. You can find cheap VPS providers in the guide and discount prices also. After you successfully sign up to the Google Cloud, go to the menu and select VM instances. You will get this window, but if you do this for the first time it may differ. To set up, a new virtual server clicks the Create Instance button. Now select a region that includes in the GCP free tier. Check the guide I will include all regions that cover under the free trial. I selected the US West region, you can select any zone you like. Select Machine Series N1 and Machine Type F1 Micro. It is the only VM that gives with the free tier. You can see the left side of the screen, it says first 744 hours free for a month. After that, you have to select a boot disk type. Click the Change button to select a comfortable operation system for Virtualman. Here I select CentOS 8 as my OS, but it is supported for Ubuntu and Debian also. Please check the guide, I will include the full list of operation systems that support this installation. For boot disk type, I select SSD, it is the fastest disk type and improves the performance of the instance. You can select disk size up to 30 GB under the free tier, furthermore, you will get charge. In the firewall section, allow both HTTP and HTTPS traffic. After setup, all those things, click create to deploy the server. Step 2. Point out the domain and set DNS records. You have to get a domain name for this step. You can check the guide I will provide some domain name providers with discount codes. If you want to get a free domain name, check this video. After getting the domain name, you can continue with the tutorial from here. Copy the public IP address of your VM instance. Then go to your domain name provider and enter it in the DNS management section. The interface may differ from different providers, but the process is the same. You have to add an A record to the DNS. You have to use a subdomain for this Virtualman hosting, otherwise it is not supported for the root domain. After hosting the Virtualman you can add the root domain and host WordPress on the root domain. To add the subdomain, type your preferred word as the name. You can see here I use mail. Then paste your public IP address as the target. It will create a subdomain like this. DNS records take some time to update, until it finishes you can proceed to the next step. Step 3. Add virtual memory to server. This VPS is small and it comes with small memory. Before the installation, you can add a swap file to increase the memory. Go to your VM instance page, click the SSH button, it will open the terminal window. 
you can find all the commands and guidelines in the description. I recommend following the guide for better understanding. You check the available memory first. There is no swap memory, let's add one. Use this command to allocate the space from the disk. I take 3024 MB you can use any value you preferred. Use this to mount it. Get root access. Now enter the following commands one by one. It is done. Check the available memory again. Swap file added to the system successfully. Let's go to the Virtualman installation process. Step 4. Run Virtualman Auto Installer. After adding the swap memory, we can start the installation process. Get root access using this command. Update the list of packages of the system using this code. Type Y to proceed. Now set the root password. It uses to log in into the Webman control panel. Type your password here, it is not visible due to security reasons, just type it and confirm the password. Ok, the password is set. Next, you have to set the hostname for this instance, you can simply copy and paste this command. Remember to replace the subdomain you created before. Next, you have to install widget use this command to install it. If you chose Ubuntu as your OS, then you don't want to install this. Ubuntu has pre-installation packages. Next, use this command to download the Virtualman auto installation script. Execute the script using this command. It asks to proceed, type Y and enter. This installation process takes a longer time. Please relax and get back to the instance after it is finished. I will speed up the video for you. I recommend you follow the guidelines for better understanding. Also, you can join with Minex Community Forum to get new updates and help each other by sharing your knowledge. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. Now the process is completed, you can access the web user interface using your subdomain. Step 5. Complete post installation wizard. You can simply type your host domain in the browser and enter to the webman. You will see this warning sign at the first login. This is because we did not install an SSL certificate on the site. Anyway, you can bypass this warning, click advanced and select accept the risk and continue. This is the webman login page, enter root as your username, and type the password that you set previously. You are in the web control panel, but all the features are not enabling until you complete the post installation wizard. There are few simple steps to complete the installation. Let's begin. If you want you can enable domain lookup server and preload virtual libraries, but they consume more RAM. So, I go with default settings. This is also RAM consuming part, I skip it. I am not going to run a spam filter, click next. If you plan to run a WordPress website enable MISQL database. This is your MISQL password copy and keeps it in a safe place.
After that tick marks the below box and press next. You can select the size of your MISQL database, you can leave it to default or select one of the options. It automatically gets the primary name server. You don't have to enter it. Leave this as default. This part is important. If you want to host a website, you should enter your main root domain here as the default virtual server. I leave it as the subdomain. You can generate an SSL certificate for the server make sure you select it. It automatically generates the SSL certificate for your server, but this can cause connection loss. Refresh the page after few moments. You have to go through the same process again, but this time, it set all of your previously set settings. So simply press the next button until the end. Ok finally, you have to recheck and refresh the configurations. After that, you are done. Now it is ready to use. In my next video, I will show you how to host multiple WordPress sites using Virtualman. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Like, share the video, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. See you again in the next part. Thank you.